So we're clearly in the 3.1 time frame now. So uh, just, just to be clear, this, don't expect this in 3.0, the services profile. This actually came out of uh, OpenChain. There was a question on one of the seminars in OpenChain about, okay, I want to capture security information about a service. I want to know if the certificate authority that's being used is valid. And out of that question came, okay, well, you know, that doesn't fit in software exactly, but it is a service. And maybe we should be capturing information in SPDX, not just about the software, not just about the hardware, but about the services as well. So we started this group about four or five months ago. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the profile itself, uh, we, uh, the group, we meet about every other week. Um, there's a, a small group of us, and, and by the way, we'd, if you're interested, you are more than welcome to join. By the way, I should mention, any, th any of our meetings uh, for SPDX, if you go to uh, github.com slash SPDX slash meetings, in that meetings repository, you'll see all of our meetings, when we meet, what the, you know, the coordinates are, you know, so feel free to join. You can also look at all the meetings and catch up uh, on that same uh, repo. Um, one thing we decided very early on is we wanted to keep in sync with what's going on in, uh, in CISA. They actually have an active working group in SBOMS. We have one of the leads from one of the CISA working groups in SBOM in the SBDX group. So we keep in very tight sync between those two different groups. Uh, and uh, we wanna, of course, be compatible with existing SBOM formats, especially SPDX. Um, we are focused a bit on security based on where we came from. And uh, we are in the process of working on uh, use cases. So similar to the hardware group, we're in the requirements gathering phase. And uh, I'll just give you a little bit of an update of where we are in the requirements gathering. We've actually categorized the requirements into uh, three different groups or categories. Uh, the uh, customer data governance, uh, to ensure that the customer data, the customer of the service provider, that is, is uh, adequately secured. Uh, supplier infrastructure governance, making sure that, uh, that you know, the, the, the reliability, quality, you know, the SLAs uh, of that service is, is, uh, is reflected. And then regulatory compliance. There's a, a lot of uh, regulatory compliance about uh, boundaries, about privacy that affects services, and those also need to be captured within the uh, services uh, uh, profile. Uh, so um, we decided that we're gonna focus on information that is intended to be shared across organization boundaries. So if you are using a service and it's just within you know, that organization, the, the services, we're not focusing on that today. Maybe in 3.2 we'll pick those up, but if, it is a, if you're sharing information across different organizations, uh, that's what we'll be focusing on. Uh, we have, uh, I have a link to the uh, use case documents in the slides that you'll be able to click on. Uh, for the, uh, you can look at the details of the use cases that are there. I'm guessing maybe in one to two months we'll probably, we're almost to the point where we're gonna uh, vote on the use cases, decide which ones we're actually gonna implement in 3.1. Then we're gonna get down to the, uh, the challenging work of defining the actual fields, properties, classes, models, and uh, actually get this work done uh, so we can get it out there in 3.1. So that's the uh, services profile, and uh, the next up is uh, Shane.